What's up, YouTube? So today I'm gonna do a uh, 2014 ATS Cadillac review on this car. So it's a 3.6 cylinder in the engine, um, pretty standard, goes pretty fast. I didn't went up to 150 in this car. I'm gonna show you the inside of the car real quick. So one thing I like about Cadillac is it reminds you that it's a Cadillac right here on both the passenger side and the driving side. I think that's pretty neat. They got that engraved inside the seat. It does come with a sunroof. The sunroof is pretty cool when it's hot outside. Um, it just looks really sporty. That's one thing else I like about the car. So we're moving to the back of the car. Uh, this is the trunk. The pretty good, uh, decent amount of trunk space in here. As you can see too, the batteries in the back of the trunk. So it's not in the front like typical cars. Um, yeah, it's pretty good space. You got the two exhaust pipes. It's pretty, it sounds pretty loud when the car is on. Those are real exhaust pipes. It's not nothing um, that's just there for design. Those are actually real exhaust pipes that sound beautiful when the car is running. Like I said, you got the sunroof. Another thing else I like about this car is Cadillac does a good design throughout the whole car. So these are Cadillac symbols as well. Um, you got your standard electrical panels right there for your windows. Okay, so we got a 3.6 cylinder engine uh, or a V6 engine, whatever you like to call it. So, nothing really too special about the engine. Everything is well put together with the Cadillac. That's one thing I like about the Cadillac. Everything's organized, like I said. All right, so if, as you can see, the buttons are here. It's, it's glowed up. That's the one thing I also like about the Cadillac. So. In the dark time, if it was dark right now, all these would be glowed up. So it's not hard to see none of these buttons. Everything's touch screen in here. So I wanted to go to media, radio, wherever I wanted to go, everything's touch screen. Only thing I don't like about this car, about this touch screen nonsense is if I wanted to adjust this to high or low. I literally have to hold this down and it can take a while it can't take a while to do that. That's pretty annoying. But everything else for the most part is pretty good. Like I said, it glows up in the dark. Um, you have your shifters right here. So if I wanted to shift or do any of that nonsense, I could do that. You can also cut the music off from right here. Or you can cut it off from right here. Um, this is your home screen. And yeah, I like how it has the Cadillac sign up there. That's pretty cool. It stays on unless I'm touching the screen to remind you it's a Cadillac. You also have all your signs up here as well. Um, you could dismiss things. So it tells you your hood's open, whatever is open, your gas tank's open. It will tell you anything that's open, your doors, all that good stuff. Got the speed as well. Um, this window, if I was to speed right now, it will show my speed. You could kind of see it. It's kind of showing, it's kind of blinking. I don't know if you can see it too well, but it's at zero right now. That's another cool feature the Cadillac has. One cool trick about the Cadillac also, you put your little hand right here, your little finger, you got a secret department right here. That's cool, very cool. And you can put a USB right there if you wanted to. It's also USBs in the glove department or um, other places in the car if you want to do that as well. So it's just not right there. And you put your finger right there and it closes again. So that's, I mess with that all the time. That's one thing I mess with club department so if you want to put a cd you got that right there as well um yeah that's pretty much it like i said you got your sunroof as well so you got it but you could just touch it like that you know automatically close for you or you could touch it like that automatically close or open i should say so you have two features you could do on this window so you can open it that way. Put it like that. So whichever way you're looking to do your sunroof, you can do it any way you want to. Got your cup holders right here, so standard two cup holders 
And you also got a little secret department if you want to put something else right here. It just close up like that. This is a five seater. That's pretty much everything about this car. I love how much space it has. Pretty nice, all leather seats. Interior is very beautiful. Like I said, all the lights up front, they light up in the dark. So if you're not looking for how to cut up the heat, how to do anything, it's all right there for you all nice and easy. You can put 87 gas in here. I never put 93 gas in here. You don't have to, it's not standard. So that's one thing, if you're trying to save some money too, you don't gotta worry about putting uh, premium gas in here. The windows automatically come dark like this. Um, the passenger windows as well are dark tinted. Even got the tints right here. That's pretty cool. So yeah, every everything is tinted about this car except the except the front. They don't make those standard tints. So like I said, this is a 2014 ATS Cadillac. And you still got the advanced blinkers right here to let people that uh, people know that you're taking a left or right turn, whichever one you want to take. And you got it up there at the front as well. And you also got some more advanced lights up here just to give it that Cadillac cool look. So just the standard driving right now. Like I said, you see the, uh, the touch screen right now. It always shows that Cadillac sign. That's one thing I like about the car. That's really neat. It drives pretty smooth. Everything's lit up. Like I said, the lights and stuff like that. That's fantastic about the car it just reminds you throughout the car everywhere you look it just reminds you it's a cadillac so i got the cadillac symbol right there cadillac symbol on the screen you got the designs right here that's all cadillac that's all cadillac even on the seats you got the cadillac symbol okay so if i was just to compare the cadillac versus the 2018 mercedes i would just say the 2018 mercedes c-class coupe is a little bit better it just sounds better it just moves smoother everything's well put together more on the German car than the Cadillac ATS. But one thing I do like about the ATS more is the lights inside there, everything glows up at night. So that's pretty cool. Then I showed you the secret department as well. That's pretty cool about the Cadillac ATS. The Cadillac ATS, it sounds better. Um, it sounds faster, even though it's not faster. You got the two exhaust pipes in the back that are real on the 2018 C-Class Mercedes. Those exhaust pipes are not real. The exhaust pipes, you actually have to go on the ground and look a little bit deeper to actually see them. So that's why it sounds better. Um, this is a regular 3.6 cylinder engine. The 2018 Mercedes, uh, it has a twin turbo engine. So that engine performs way better and way, way more reliable. I would rather drive the 2018 C-Class Mercedes for sure. Okay, so that's all I got for you guys for the 2014 ATS Cadillac review. Like I said, 3.6 cylinder. Um, everything is really normal in this car. Nothing too special. You got the two exhaust pipes that sound wonderful when you put your foot on the gas. Um, like I said, the battery is in the back, a regular engine. And that's pretty much it. Don't forget about the secret compartment that you have and all the lights inside the car. When it's dark, it glows up. That's one thing I do like about it. And the screen is touch screen. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and we out.